Hello and be welcome to another episode of Let's Developers Tips and Tricks on how to use Eclipse. Today we're going to talk about how to automatically uh, add static imports to your classes. Most often people encounter that problem when writing test classes. For example, you want to use um, the test uh, annotation that works quite fine and then you write public void should do something and you want to add an assertion here like assert true and you find that there's no automatic import in the code completion nor is there a quick fix it only allows you to um, create stuff and uh, it even automatically says you can change assert true to assert use the class but that's not what you want you want to have a static import that looks like uh, import static uh, org junit assert dot assert true uh, like that so that this down here works like this right but it's a hassle to type that by hand so I'm going to show you how you can config configure Eclipse uh, to add this static import automatically for you so let's remove that again and let's open the Eclipse preference, Preferences, which is on uh, Eclipse Preferences or Command Comma. I think it's Control Comma in Windows. So you can open that and you want to search for static imports. That's what I normally do. Then you find below Java Editor Content Assist Favorites, a page that looks like this. So there's defined the list of static members or types with static members and content assist will propose those static members even if the import is missing. That's what you're looking for. So uh, in my case, I want to say new type here, go to the browser and say, I want to add the assert class of org JUnit to this list and save it. And what I can do now is hit code completion and it will uh, offer me these two methods uh, as it did before when I added the import manually and if I complete it will add the static import above. In fact that also works for the other assertion method like asset array equals or yeah, down here asset equals or false not equals whatever uh, what have you. Um, that's a very neat thing and it helps quite a lot. In fact if you do stuff like um, asset false you also have that in the quick fix, um, now the option to add that static import. So this is really uh, yeah, a good thing, a nice, nice feature of Eclipse. And yeah, I use that normally for ORCJ unit assertions for the Hemcrest matches and for Mokito stuff. So there's quite lots of frameworks, most of them related to testing, um, where you have static imports and it's really nice to have the automatic import feature. Okay, I hope you liked that demonstration. If so, give me a thumbs up. If not, send me a message, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.